Hey guys, what's going on? I, uh, I'm back here with a... Sorry, that was a bug. Oh boy. Long day. Hey guys, what's going on? Another video from Kicking Their Bass here today. And, uh, today it's just gonna be a quick little video. Well, it might be a little bit, like, long, but... Um, today I'm going to be doing a review on this tackle box here, and my Unreal Ugly Stick. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it. I will start with, I guess the Ugly Stick is going to take the quickest, probably. So... I believe this is, I don't know, one minute, I think it's a 6'6", six, 6'6", six, six six, I'm pretty sure, I think that's what it, how long it is, but um, I was actually looking on the UglyStick.com website like 20 minutes ago, and they had this rod up <clears throat> for sale um, for like, I don't know if it's on sale, but had it up, uh, and the price was I think like sixty-five dollars, so it's pretty good. It's, it's like really good quality rod. Nothing's broken on me yet. Um, before I put the wrong line on it, on the reel right now. Let me just check to be totally sure. Yeah, I have a twelve-pound. Uh, Berkeley Tri Line uh, Flow Viz Green. See on my reel there. But, uh, yeah, it says it's extra tough and it actually is very good line. It's, uh, I don't think it's too expensive either. But, anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, that's what line I have on it and it casts out perfectly. I had, I think, what was it? either 10 or 12 pound mono on it and it just knotted up like oh my gosh such a pain but this line works perfect so recommended on this reel uh braid might work okay i'm pretty sure it uh would but um yeah the gear ratio on this rod is 5.0 to 1 um, yeah, on, I'll just read what it says in Rio. It says 4 pounds slash 190 yards, 6 pounds, 140 yards, 8 pounds, 110 yards. Now, I gotta be totally honest, I don't really know what that means, so put in the comments what that means. I'm not an expert with reels and rods and stuff, I just know how to fish. And, uh, yeah, but it's, uh, uh, camo, uh, rod and reel combo. Uh, Shakespeare. That's what it says on here, I think. Yeah, Shakespeare. But, uh, as you can see right there, Ugly Sick. It is an Ugly Sick brand. It's not a fake or anything. Yeah, like I said, it's 6'6". Six, Gear six. ratio is 5.0 to 1. And, uh, just like any other under reel, I'm pretty sure it has six eyelets. But, yeah, and the Ugly Sticks, I don't know if any other rods have this, actually, but the Ugly Sticks have this, uh, it's more of a... I don't know, it's more like a flexible piece in the rod, I guess. But, the rod does have a pretty good backbone to it. Yeah, it bends pretty good, too. But, yeah, that's it for the rod. Wasn't too long. And now let's go down the tackle box. So, tackle box will take you a little lower here. Put you down here. You won't be able to see, like, my face or anything, but... This tackle box has a tray up here. So there's these two things on each side. You just open them up. And you got this whole storage compartment up in here. So it's really big in this. I got my pliers over here. I got a lighter. And this is from like a, a tournament, fishing tournament. I don't even know. But then I got some weights, some bobbers that I rarely use. Uh, brand new chartreuse jigs. So yeah, you can basically 
like uh, fit quite a bit in here. And then I have like, another little tray in here and some weights and stuff. But yeah, and then also on the top, it has these little plastic sides here. Uh, you can just put stuff in them. But uh, yeah, and then I couldn't tell you why this is in here. But I'll put it in this one so it can get tangled on. Not pliers or anything. Yeah, I got a uh, multi tool on top for like easier access and stuff. So you can store some stuff up here. And then down here, we got two side storages. They go all the way back to here. So good for your uh, plastics and your stuff. Just like what I have in here. I have some plastics and all that junk. So this, uh, oh. Oh, Jesus, I forgot I completely had these cycles back there. But, uh, yeah, I'll have to throw them in my tray later. But, yeah, all my classics in there. And then, you have where it holds the three trays. Decent sized tray, not that bad. Uh, when I get more tackle, I'll be looking to buy a new, uh, box. But, so it fits more stuff. But this is perfect for me now. Yeah, so it has a three tray uh, storage capacity. And they're decent trays. It comes with a bunch of more plastics to make your shapes that you want or whatever that suit you. But yeah. It's a, uh, it's a good box, too. Um, it's pretty heavy when you have all your junk in it. And, but yeah. So you got the ugly stick rod, and you got the tackle box. So yeah, that was just like a quick review. I bought that for, what was it, $50, I think. But uh, my buddy, um, be in Boston, go check out his channel, subscribe to him. He makes good videos also. And... Uh, Anyways, he has a bag that has, like, five trays in it, and, um, it's, like, fits a lot of stuff. He is, it's, like, jam-packed full with his lures, and he has a lot. He has, like, four, five times as much as tackle as me, so the bag's perfect for him. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be buying more lures in the future, so I'm gonna need to upgrade that. But, uh, when you're, like... Starting out, and you have a decent amount of tackle. It's a perfect box in my case. And, uh, this is a perfect rod, too. Perfect size for me, but I'm looking to get a 7-foot, uh, quantum bait caster, I think. Uh, for my birthday, that's coming up. So, yeah, that was just a really quick video. And, probably be uploading this one tomorrow, because I'm uploading one tonight. So, yeah, just uh, leave in the comments if you have any questions between them, and I'll hit you up, and uh, just give you the answers if I could. Uh, but, uh, yeah, hit up my Instagram, uh, kick an underscore there, underscore bass, underscore 18. Uh, go hit that up, and, yeah, uh, make sure to subscribe, uh, give this video a thumbs up. Check out my other videos, give them a thumbs up if you enjoy. Leave in the comments if you have any questions about anything. And, uh, yeah, just remember to uh, kick for bass.